so far today, um, we've been amazed by the amount of people that actually know of Lifetime and the better award that we won last year. Um, we've also been surprised by the amount of international delegates that have attended. I think that's fantastic. And the event itself has been an amazing experience to showcase um, not only our application, but to see what other people are doing. One of the major issues for me as, as a teacher is um, what was brought up last year at last year's conference, where there was a recognition that what we teach in the classroom is very much geared up to what we assess and how we assess that. And if we assess children sitting in a, in a, a hall with 200, you know, 200 desks on paper, then that's what we're going to teach to. And we, that's not what this industry is all about. We need to teach 21st century skills. Well, the big thing for me has got to be connectivity. The, the, the frustrations have always been about the capacity of the pipe, as it were. And, and I should like to see the, the sort of thing that Nyes and Bechter have talked about in terms of the connectivity being like tap water. So we get fairly broad, broadband connections, which will enable some uh, actually fantastic stuff to be used. I find uh, really interesting the Prime Minister uh, speech, which was uh, supported as well by Mr. Red Bulls, and especially when, uh, when he said that new technologies uh, could be something uh, really important uh, to make uh, parents participate uh, in the education of children. I think that uh, this, this is a great point and we should work from uh, all over the, the government's level uh, in, that, uh, in that field. This is uh, an event which goes beyond technology, it goes uh, to the uh, human side. So here I've met a lot of different nationalities, learned a lot from them and one thing very important is that everybody is doing the same thing. Probably we're doing it differently but we're doing it effectively and efficiently. And we're all here, I mean everybody who's here has the same concerns and the student today, the learner of today is the, uh, the, the heart of all these people's matters and uh, is at the top of everybody's priorities, which is a fantastic thing. There's a lot of uh, people who are in in this in their position for the ed educational policy making, uh, but th I think this is rare opportunity for, for me to come. But it's it's very worthy to, to come to the Nepal in Himalayan region. Uh, at least four months uh, per year. The schools are closed because of the climate, climate, harsh climate. So if technology can do in that direction, so in order to find out what this forum can provide us in terms of technology and uh, serving the unsolved, so we came here. I think one thing that really inspires us is how this, uh, this all these sessions conduct. For example, is always like Web 2, using a lot of Web 2.0 technology using SMS to post our uh, question immediately to the board and then we can get the response. So this kind of interactive things really inspire us and we hope that in, our, in the future we can put this kind of technology into our, our device. So I have been to eLearning Africa but it's more than, than that here because we have here from all the globe participating and especially schools from the UK that that uh, well, therefore it's it's a successful. I want to get the state of the art discussion uh, on technology development for learning, but also on uh, policy reflection. So, what is the present commitment on the British government side? I was yesterday here, very sur not surprised, but impressed by the amount of energy that was expressed by your prime minister and by members of your government. And um, I, I particularly interested in the issue of assessment because I think that assessment is the best way, the best thing to be changed if you want to change a full education system. And I noticed that assessment is well at the center of many sessions in this conference. So I'm satisfied for the focus I got in this conference up to now. Russia is changing, it's, it's changing very fast. And uh, the education is a serious problem in Russia because we're still, uh, our students, our teachers, they are living by rules which was made in the 60s or the previous centuries. So now we want to, t we want to change, we want to make something new.
And here I hope to get some experience, some conclusions about what to do with computers, what, what to do with technology to make education in Russia better and uh, more effective. We have a lot of uh, question mark in the Israeli educational system. We're on the verge of moving forwards with a big computer uh, program. And we have a lot of debates, a lot of question marks, and this is the right place. I think that more, more or less all the countries are uh, going in the same direction. We all of, all of us think about open uh, and distant learning or blended learning and digital contents, developing of digital contents to fill up, fill all these computers that we are putting in the schools. Teacher training on distant learning methodology and digital contents, developing of digital contents. I was very much impressed with the, the Resuto experience of the Compijecta. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a project which we can also uh, plow back to, to Namibia and uh, uh, since Nam Namibia is also beneficial uh, in the sense that we can use other alternative sources of energy like solar to, to roll it out where there is the off, uh, the, where the off grid, the grid ends because uh, most, most, most part of the country does not have electricity, it's in the rural areas and this is where the impact needs to be made. In terms of, I mean, uh, learning best practices, listening to uh, some of the, I mean, uh, eminent speakers, uh, it has uh, widened our horizon as well as uh, the presentations on ICT has really, I mean, uh, helped us that uh, how ICT can help in, uh, in the, I mean, accessibility, in the quality education, and also the relevancy of the education to people. Technology is going to be a very good tool. One very important thing is that uh, we feel secure that technology is not taking the place of the teacher, but it is supporting the teacher, it is helping the teacher, and it is certainly going to move things faster. So it's going to help us in education in the sense that lots of things is going to be, lots of work is going to be easier for us. We will be able to assess easily, to make tests easily, to correct them easily, and there are even options that marking can be done um, uh, by technology. I mean, we, we don't have to make calculations anymore. And at the same time, technology is going to assist us in the sense that we can share our knowledge, our experience with others, to know what works for others and what doesn't, and to improve ourselves, um, to, to assess even ourselves, our teaching, our way of doing it. Technology is a tool. It's a tool in such a way it can boost learning of, by participation, collaboration, and gives a new way of looking at education and learning. Technology is all pervasive. Um, I've said this many times. Technology is and should be in a classroom anywhere, anytime. It should be as available as a pen or a pencil. And, and to me, that's what it's all about. It's not about what it is. It's not about it's about how you use it, not what it is. What has struck me about the World Forum has been how everybody can, can see and relate to how technology in the 21st century is, is really changing the way that schools not just support learning and teaching within the school, but extend those experiences beyond the school walls to the home, to parents, to families. Now education is not something that just happens inside the classroom, it's something that the whole family can get involved in and benefit from.